You are my lover. Please be aware. I know there's many bother. Someday. Hello guys! Welcome back to my channel. In my last video, we were able to talk about the meaning of poem and its major benefits. But if you haven't watched it yet, you can visit the link on the description box below. For this video, I will share my 5 tips to write a poem. For clarification, I am not a professional writer. I just want to share my passion and hobby in writing poetry. And what I'm going to share with you guys is based on my experience and what I should do when I'm writing a poem. So, without further ado, let's get it started. 5 Tips to Write a Poem Before you proceed in writing, it is essential to have a clear picture of what you want work to be. The topic can be about the society, the things that you have observed, about your loved ones, current issues, about your personal experience, but if it's your first time to write a poem, I am encouraging you to take your experience at the subject of your composition because it is a great composition when, when your subject is uh, your experience because it is easier to, for you to express your ideas. It is based on your experience. In my case, I write poems that revolve with my perspective which aims to inspire others as well. Another thing that we should take note is that our work will be beneficial to the readers because if we will be able to effectively convey the message by the readers. And being a writer, we, could, we should be a storyteller. Once you have a chosen topic, you must teach us about it. I know several people who are beginners in writing poetry and they have exerted effort to gather more ideas because at first they are out of words. We encounter in that when we write poetry. The big the one of the problems is we out of words when we write. And so to solve that, go ahead or to enhance your vocabulary knowledge, it is best for you to like Dorante and Laura or works of William Shakespeare or any other literary books that inspire you to the writing. Also, I would like to encourage you to read the Bible where you can learn and encounter abundant words and end wisdom. Reading books will be help for you to improve your writing skills and to to, to more about that what i'm saying i will give an example okay i am a chess player when i was grade six i became interested interested to learn how to play chess because of my brother who is already fond of playing it i talked to my brother and asked him to teach me how to play it from then on i learned how to and he gave me books to, to improve my games. And so my point here is, if you are willing to learn something, you will definitely find ways to gain knowledge about it. In literature, considering and repairing to publish books will be a donkey help to learn how to write your, on your own. If you are eager to produce a poetic work, you must have an answer to the question. One is, what is all about? What particular message I desire to convey and what feelings I would like to express. Bear in mind that this is the vital part of your work, called the greatest piece of the puzzle. So, let us now proceed in the next tip. The tip number two. So, 
know your poetic form and style. These are there are 15 types of poetic form. For, but for this part, I will only give the three commonly used form. These are sonnet, blank verse, and free verse. Let us define the three poetic form in five, four, three, two, one. According to English Dictionary, sonnet is a poem made up 14 lines using any pattern of a number, with formal rhyme shims or the other pattern of rhymes at the end of lines of poem. In English, typically having 10 syllables per line, and the example is the work of William Shakespeare. Number 60. As you can see in the diagram, the rhyme pattern are A B A B C D C D E F E F G G, and it has 10 syllables. So for conclusion, sonnet is half a meter. Point. Second poetic form is blank verse. It is a poetry written with a precious meter, almost always a big pentameter, which does not rhyme. It is like a sonnet, but the difference is that sonnets have specific rhyme scheme while blank verse does not. So blank verse is more of conversational style. The third one is free verse. Free verse do not have a limitation of width and rhythm but still provides an artistic expression. The example of Bieber's is spoken word poetry, which is commonly acknowledged as a poetic performance in our generation. It's gave life and color to our culture, particularly to the Philippine literature. This is my suggestion if your chosen poetic form is a Bieber's. Just like what other poets usually say, their style considers a two factor rhyme and repetition. Rhyme pertains to the to the similar ending sounds in every line. For example, I will give an example to know better about rhyme. You are my lover, please be aware. I know there's many bother. Someday with our dream we will be on. That example, as you can see, right, you, as you can hear, hear that the rhyme have a the ending, the ending sounds have rhyme. I will also give you an example in Tagalog if you are interested to write in Tagalog dialect. O isang dalaga, di mo na kailangan ng kolerentes mo lamang upang mabigkani ang manda. Ipakita sa kanila ang gaya ang Christian. So, that is example. So, now, let's proceed with the example of repetition. But, let us define what is the repetition. State of repeating several or selected words in order for it to generate a sense of pleasure once it read or when it read. And this is the example. I see your face, face that need to converse, converse with our love to diverse, diverse that they want to embrace. And that is example. And in Tagalog, masdan ang kagandahan, kagandahan ang imakita sa anuman, sa amang dapong napuntahan, napuntahan man, ikaw pa rin babalik-balik. Example of the condition. So, to enhance your wordplay, I advise you to watch rap battles like Flip Top because you can catch up some words which you can use in your poetry or listen a songs 
by produced by Black Knight or any Arab artist of your choice and you can uh, you can hear a song or any songs because a poem is a song this is my personal recommendation because I learned how to word play using this method the important reminder you can really play around with words but it will never be right to play around with someone else Let's proceed in the tip number 3. It's not necessary for your work to be instantly perfect. Just like what they say, great things take time. So when you start writing, do it the most natural way possible. Do not think of ways on how you could impress others. Because in the first place, it is not the reason why we engage ourselves in the field of poetry. Because others poetry says that writing poetry is to express, not to impress. Just write all things that come across into your mind. Be patient in writing. Don't give up. And now if you were able to apply this, let us go on the tip number 4. Construct your words. After writing your draft, it will be better if your work is clear and consists so start that you would like to include in your final composition. It is not required for you to have a bunch of words that is out of the context. So just choose the vital ones, then you can proceed in writing a short title. That will the short title that will deficit the content of your work. It is also possible that the explanatory factor will be on the end part of your poem so that the reader will have a realization and later on understand the reason behind your given title. After you have decided on the title, proofread your work. As a writer, we have this tendency to perceive our work as a perfect one but if we read it over and over again, you will notice some errors and there will be sense of urgency to correct, reword, rearrange, or rewrite certain parts. Proofreading will enhance the quality of your work. So, leave your work and come back again. The last step is convey your goals and inspiration. In poetry, it is important that you are guided by your train of thoughts. You must determine your goal and think of possible ways to completely impart it to the readers. Also, it will be advantage for you if you have an inspiration and motivation to feel the reason of doing so, to encourage or inspire others. And with that, you will be able to develop your writing skills as well. You will be more determined to write if you constantly inspire. Yeah. In addition, you must be open to the possibility that other people might criticize your work. But what important here is that it's the product of your own hard work and aspiration which open the doors for improve yourself. So, don't affect it if they say they criticize you. Keep going and going. And when it comes to writing a poem, you must always be powered by love. Yes, in doing your work in order for it to be more meaningful and worthwhile, just like what is written in the Bible from 1 Corinthians 16 verse 30. So, these are the 5 tips to write a poem. I hope I was able to encourage you to write poetry, which is really a great help for you. 
to express your feelings towards something or someone. In fact, you can make one and give it as a gift for your loved ones. I think it is one of the precious gifts that someone would be cherished compared to the material gifts which can weather and eventually fade. Poems might imply a simple concept but it would be a lot of meaning to someone to receive a poem from a certain person who is close to his or her heart. So before we end this video, I would like to greet my classmates, friends, relatives, and also who, who is currently watching this video. I want to say, I love you! Yes, I love you! So that would be all. I hope you enjoy and you who are watching this video, I am encouraging you to write a poem out of any topic you want. Yes, this write a poetry because... It's a meaning a lot and to have expressed your thoughts and ideas. It's, there's many benefits of it. So let us write. Write? Write. Okay, thank you for watching and I hope you see you again in my next vlog, God Winning. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. See you soon and God Winning. Thanks be to God. God be the glory.